Hi everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. Last episode we managed to defeat Selfco and Giovanni for a second time. This time we're going to go into Saffron Gym. Anyway, this is an absolute pain. I'm not kidding, this is ridiculous. Basically, we've got to take pot shots on these, um, on these lifts. Luckily, I'm pretty sure you can avoid the majority of these guys. Anyway, if you look just there, you will actually be able to see Sabrina. Basically, we just have to take... I know there's a something on the internet saying, you know, how to get to her. But we we're just going to try our own way. You know, why not? The embarrassing thing is, if you actually do this and you end up back at where you started... Then you know things aren't going well for you. But no, we're just gonna try, try our luck. Oh, we're back here. Let's try this. Yep. This is ridiculous. Right. I've just got to think of things to commentate. I can't really commentate on using that. Ah, damn it. Sabrina is younger to die, but I respect her. Right. Whatever, what kind of levels of Pokemon we're fighting here? Meh, not so bad. Especially since it's a ghastly, I can Ice Beam! God damn it! Alright, but I have a trick up my sleeve. Poke a flute! Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, great. So, why did it confuse me while I was asleep? <gasps> Lick. And I've been paralyzed. Wow, this is not going well for me at the start. Ha ha ha! Ice beam. Surf. Even though I can't use a physical, I'm trying to think of a th physical attack I can use against Ghastly because once again his defense is low. But any normal attacks are not—they don't even touch Ghost Pokemon. Oh come on! Stop hurting yourself. Stop being confused. It's me. It's the guy that trained you when, ever since you were level ten. Don't be no 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 Wow good one at all Yes critical Um I've got a Pokemon that can counter Oh um, Screw it. oh god no wrong Pokemon Face palm I was going to originally get Hypno out. To be honest, Hypno is the one to do this gym. Because um, these are poison pass types. And using Hypno, if the Psychic Pokemon ever tried to do any really high level Psychic stuff, because Hypno's got a high special stat, it can counteract that. It can use physical attacks. I'm a good... Well, I'm not going to heal up until I have to. Where's that? Actually, no, that's where we started. So let's try this. This is ridiculous. It really, really is. I just, I just want to fight Sabrina. I spent so long in my childhood years getting stuck here. And look, I'm back here. And I'm not going to stop the video to look it up. I did have a book on it. I 
The other one I've already fought, so... Let's go down here. Um... Possibly this. Seriously, this is ridiculous. I cannot find my way anywhere. Yes! I found her! Save. This is actually, no, hang on, I need to heal up. Pikachu out of the way. Oh, wow. That probably put oh, out of the way. Whatever. Give that to Pikachu. Pokemon, Hypno. Good news is I've got a ton of revives, so if Hypno happens to go down, I can always just revive it. <laughs> oh, how awesome this is. Ready for this? I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Alright, this is gym number six. Sabrina, the user of psychic type Pokemon who also has a whip. And looks like she's in a tennis outfit, I don't know. Anyway, on Pokemon Yellow, she will use an Abra, a Kadabra, and an Alakazam. This is why I want Hypno. She's using X Defense, and she's clever, because the AI knows that the defense stat of these Pokemon is terrible. So what Hypno should just be able to do is headbutt his way through. Accuracy has fallen. And luckily, if Hypno goes down, I can just use a revive. Okay, so level 50, but I managed to take down a level 50 before. I've got high hopes. Whoa! Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, head... Ah, oh, no, that's the one time I would've wanted it to hit. Stop lowering my accuracy, man. Yes. Yes, level 38. I like a Zam. I don't actually have any healers. Ah, oh, this Pokemon is ridiculous. It's a very high special stat. And it's doing what Sabrina's doing whatever she can to protect. Which is a very smart thing to do. But it seems a bit dopey. Why isn't it attacking me? Stop using reflect and try to God damn I hate this! Oh no. Cover. Come on. I hate the way I keep missing. I honestly don't have anything. Because it's going to keep trying to... Why did it use... Why did the Abra use Flash? And Kinesis. I can't hit. Yeah, I'm going down. Actually, I've got an idea. Right, this is going to end horribly if it uses a Psychic move. I just want to point this out. But I have a plan. Come on, don't use a Psychic move. Come on, hit this. Yes! Right, now I'm going to do a smart thing and revive Hypno. See, what I've done here is now that Alakazam is definitely going to go down in at least in a maximum of 10 turns. Yeah, that's down, that's down. No question, and a critical. Like I said, there is no question about it. Alakazam is not going to survive. It can try and use Recover, but Recover won't actually physically get rid of the poison. Oh, no PP left. Uh, let's try Hypnosis. See, look at that. Look at that. Uh, you know, let's just... It'll be a waste, but why not? You know, it's going down anyway. We have already won. You know, whatever. Let's get, let's get Charmeleon out, because whoever is the standing Pokemon will actually get the experience. I think Charmeleon needs it. Let's rage. 
Yep, Charmeleon's going down. Come on, it's almost double the level of Charmeleon. And look at that! How did it only do that little damage? Come on, you know you want to be crap against a Charmeleon gets the XP. We did it again! We managed to defeat a ridiculously high leveled Pokemon with just level 30s! And we beat Sabrina! Yes! Ha! I'm shocked! But a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. The Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild. Ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you. Alright, what's that TM? Psywave. It uses powerful psychic waves to inflict damage. Well, from what I saw, it wasn't very powerful. Once again, we... We've outdone ourselves. We've beaten... Sabrina. Alright, don't worry. I know how to get out. I think. Watch, I'll end up going to Sabrina and be like... Grr! Wouldn't that just be the most piss-take thing ever if you actually got to Sabrina just doing this? What?! Stop it! Let me go! <sighs> ah, there we go. It's the corner one. Yes, we're out. We did it. You know, I honestly don't have anything else to say to that apart from... Wow. I don't know how it happened. But we actually won. Anyway, now what we need to do is go to a little island called Cinnabar. We heard about it at the very start of the game when we got the fossil. When he goes, oh, I hear Cinnabar Island has labs that can revive dead fossilized Pokemon. So, that's also where the seventh gym is held. <laughs> wow, how did we pull that one off? We really pulled that one out of the bag. Right, we need to get moving. I'm still surprised for such low level Pokemon how we're actually doing so good. Okay, there are two ways we can get to Cinnabar. We can either go from Fushia City, take the water down there, you have to go through the Seafoam Islands, which is sort of a mid marker. And that's a bit that's a bit irritating to go through. Or you can go back to your home place, Pallet Town, and you can just swim from the bottom of there and you get straight to cinema. It's much quicker, much more efficient. And it's easy enough to fly there, but because I don't have fly, the way I'm going to do it is pop on a few repels and go through Diglett Cave. To be honest, this could very well be the last time we ever see these places. Because we, we got no we got no use for them. That's it. Like, you know, Vermilion, Celadon, Saffron, Lavender. We don't need it. And if we go through here... What's got funny is, do you see all these on trees? These are supposed to be trees, by the way. Uh, that's actually Vermilion Forest. Believe it or not. I feel like I've made way too much progress with weak Pokemon, but it's just the Pokemon keep outdoing themselves. Actually, some of you might be interested to know. I talked about where to get Flash earlier, which was this guy. Hi, remember me, I'm Professor Oxaid. If you've got 10 Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you a HMO5, which is Flash. I've got six badges and I've only caught 17 types of Pokemon. It's helpful, I guess, but not as helpful as it could be up, very nice. And yes, yeah, so we're back here. Oh, and more moonstones! Yay! Just check it. Checking it. Back to Viridian City. Alright. Ah, back where the game started, when we had... 
a grumpy little Pikachu, and low level, we had a low level Caterpie, didn't we? Who is now a Butterfree, which is now in its adopted home. I mean, that repels a bit more. We're probably going to run into a Pokemon on this little straight. No, we're not luck. Wow, we didn't. Should pay Mum a visit. Hey, Mum. Tom, if you drive your Pokemon too hard, they'll dislike you. You should take a rest. Ha. <laughs> oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Right, now let's use War Turtle Surf, because I haven't shown you this. Now what you can do is you get on your Pokemon and... Yeah, we can go swimming. Once again... You know, I'm just going to put a repel on for the sake of the music. Love it. What a relaxing swim to sit... Oh god, to sit about... Oh, for, for, let's do them! There is actually something that's in red and blue. I think it's in red anyway. Here we are, Cinnabar Island. Now, it's not in this. It's not in Pokemon Yellow, but if you are to swim along the sides of here, you'll run into a little Pokemon called Misigno, which is evil incarnate, basically. You don't want to go anywhere near it. There are, like, things on the internet now about how to do it, but back in the day, back, well, say back in the day, I can't remember, back when um, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow were first out, it was just rumour that passed around from people trying it, and everyone wanted to see this mysterious Masigno. You'd only believe it when you saw it for yourself. <laughs> My brother showed me one time, and I just thought, wow, this is awesome. I was like, six at a time. Anyway, this is one thing that I want to show. The Pokemon Lab. Now, first of all, if we actually go in here, we'll find a lot of trainers who want to trade Pokemon. I find this very strange possible. I think it's a rare prehistoric Pokemon. Hello there. Do you want to trade your Golduck for Rhydon? Funnily enough, that's actually a very good trade, because Rhydon is mad. Well, if you don't want to, sob. Hi, do you have a Growlithe? Want to trade for my Dugong? Oh, no, I don't have Growlithe. Sorry. But yeah, you, you can get some pretty good Pokemon out of this. And, you know, Pokemon that are in trades, you gain more XP from. Eevee can evolve into one of three different kinds of Pokemon. Yep. I made a cool TM. I can cause all kinds of fun. TM35. Tell me this is Metronome. That's the sound of a Metronome. Yes. It tweaks your Pokemon's brain into using moves it doesn't know. Yeah, Metronome is one of my favourite moves. Basically... It will just pick any move from the game at random and use it. It could be anything from a little splash to an insane hyper beam. But anyway, if we go over to this guy here. Oh, yeah. I am an important... I am important, Doctor. I am important, Doctor. I study here rare fossils. You have a fossil for me? No, it's too bad. Oh, of course, because I stored my fossil. Yeah, but basically, if you give your fossil to him... Oh, that's a bit off. If you give your fossil to him, you will get a Pokemon come out of it. Which is pretty cool. But anyway, here's the gym, but there's a problem. The door is locked. And it looks like we're going to have to retrieve it. We've saved up. I don't mind. Cinnabar Jim Blaine is an odd man who has lived here for decades. What, on this tiny little island? But yeah, we need to go into the Cinnabar Island, the fiery town of burning design. Into the waste lab. Once again, you get a really cool theme. I love that. Right, let's pop on Max Repel. Right, I can't remember how exactly to get through this. I know that, say, I know there's switches and stuff lying around. Oh god. If I remember right, the wild Pokemon have pretty high levels, yeah. You know what? 
let's run from this, and I'm gonna end the episode there. Just save up for good measure, because we have quite a lot. And next episode, we're gonna be tackling the abandoned lab, and hopefully getting away into the seventh gym. Until then.